What up YouTube, GFO Leader here once again, back with another video for you guys, and today's topic, I'm going to talk to you guys about that Sonic trailer that dropped, um, and pretty much everybody's reaction to the Sonic trailer that came out, um, before I get into this video, I want to preface everything I'm about to say with, I'm not a Sega fan, I'm not a Sonic fan, nor have I been in years since I was a child, I'm not a Pokemon fan, nor have I been since I was a child, so I have no dog in this race. This is just me objectively looking at things, you know, like pretty much an outsider looking at it. So I just wanted to say that first, but if we could revise history, if that was any way possible, if Sonic was made by Nintendo and released the exact same trailer, I bet you, people would have been sucking that trailer's dick. <laughs> people would have been sucking that trailer's dick. The way they do it, um, Detective Pikachu. You know why? Because the Detective Pikachu and the Sonic movie both look like some made-for-TV bullshit. Let's keep it trail right now. Let's keep it honest. Let's keep it 100. They both look bad. Let's talk about what people are saying about the Sonic thing first, because there's a lot of people that had issues with the way Sonic looked. They had issues with Jim Carrey being Robotnik. They had issues with Sonic traveling to our world. They say that's the Trump. Jeremy John said that one. Um, then they had problems with the music choice for the trailer. So they had problems with that. So I just want to address these things, you know. First of all, let's talk about Sonic looks. Sonic don't look any less bad than half of the Pokemon in that Detective Pikachu trailer. <laughs> Sonic don't look any less freaky or disgusting than Mr. Mime and some of these other some of these other Pokemon. I don't know their names, but they look weird and janky as hell. Sonic don't, don't look any less bad. But I feel like it's the cool thing to hate Sonic. It's always been that way for the longest. The cool thing to hate Sonic. So they'll give Detective Pikachu questionable CGI a pass and shit on Sonic like the way they've always done because it's the mainstream thing to do. People shitted on him, uh, Sonic not having gloves, but didn't have any issue with Pikachu talking. You know, I know a lot of people talk about that's Detective Pikachu, but a lot of the other, a lot of us fans didn't grow up on Detective Pikachu. We grew up with Ash Ketchum and Pikachu, with Pika only said Pika Pika. So the fact that they were so open-minded to having Ryan Reynolds voice Pikachu, but have issues with Sonic not wearing gloves, that just let me know how full of shit some people are. <laughs> you know, a whole character that we didn't, never knew to talk is talking versus a character not wearing gloves and y'all making a big deal about gloves. You know, so I had to talk about that. First, then let's talk about music. People saying that, why did they pick Gangsta Paradise? Blah, 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 blah. You know, I don't like that. Da, 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 da. Why they pick an old song? And I hate when they do that with trailers. But then you turn around and look at Detective Pikachu. They threw on Waiting for a Hero. Tell me that is not the most on the nose, overly used trailer soundtrack. But people give it a pass. <laughs> you know? They put that shit on Shrek. <laughs> I need a hero. And if yet people give it a pass. You know, but Gangsta Paradise is something, you know, <laughs> a little different and people have issues with it. Just let me know that people still full of shit. Both I don't like. Let me just say that out the gate. I don't like I need a hero and I don't like uh, Gangsta Paradise on movie trailers like that. So let me just say that out the gate. I'm just saying they both the fucking same. If you go just keep the same energy when you're judging these things. And the next thing is the cast. People having issues with Jim Carrey's performance in the trailer, but have no issues with Justice Smith. You know? <laughs> Anything Justice Smith was in, a lot of people didn't support that shit. I remember the Get Down got canceled because nobody watched that shit. Like I did. I love that shit. I was mad at it. But where was that support then? Now all of a sudden, people are extreme fans of his because he's in Detective Pikachu. They giving him a pass. They willing to give him a chance. But then you got a hard nosed vet <laughs> like Jim Carrey, and now y'all questioning if he can handle this role. 
Like, come on now. <laughs> like I said, it's the cool thing to hate Sonic. People is not looking at this shit objectively. So that's the next thing. So what do we address? Looks, music, and cast. Let's address what Jeremy John said about the TV tropes about Sonic coming to our world and they hate stories like that. And it's just kind of like, first of all, I feel like Jeremy Johns didn't do any research. He just wanted to be one of the first to put out a video. You know, I mean, I, I, I love Jeremy John's videos. He's one of my favorite YouTubers, but I feel like he just didn't do any research. He just wanted to be a, the first, like a lot of these people who didn't really take the time to digest the trailer. They just watched it one time and wanted to hurry up and throw out a video. Because if you did just even the tiniest bit of research, you would know that's Sonic storyline. Sonic Adventure storyline. He travels to our world. Sonic X. He, that was what's, uh, which was based on the anime of Sonic X. He traveled to our world and worked with Chris and, you know, and Dr. Robotnik. I mean, Dr. Eggman was trying to capture him. He always came to our world. This story has been the same since, what, 2000? So, him coming to our world isn't anything new. It's not a TV trope. <laughs> he been done this. They didn't do this specifically for this movie. They didn't do this specifically for the movie. He's always came to our world since Sonic Adventure and the anime Sonic X. So if people did the tiniest bit of research, they would have got that before just dissing it for, for Sonic actually following its actual storyline. But anyways, my whole point with this video is both don't look that good. I just wish people would keep the same energy and stop giving Nintendo all of these passes because it's Nintendo. I know there's a lot of Nintendo fanboys and stands and y'all want to defend Nintendo and all of this, but come on, y'all gotta stop with the Sonic hate just the hate and giving Nintendo passes for doing the absolutely same thing. The absolute same thing. Crazy thing is, I think you could take that Super Mario movie from the early 90s and bring it into the into this era if it came on this era people would have loved it for some reason because that's how the fan base has evolved you know it's become their childhood so much so that they can't look at it objectively and that's the sad thing about it i'm not trying to defend sonic in any way because like i said i'm not a fan of sonic or pokemon i'm just objectively looking at both i looked at both trailers both trailers look like a made for tv movie both look like they had a low budget both just don't look that good to me, <laughs> you know? But if you're going to defend one, you got to defend the other, in my opinion. That's the only thing I'm saying. But anyways, I'm about to get out of here. You guys can hit me down in the comments down below. Tell me your thoughts. Do you think people are keeping it objective? Or do you think people are um, protecting... Um, protecting Nintendo just a little bit. Let's talk about it. If you need to hear something, thank you guys for watching.